Welcome to Pete's NFL Buffalo Bills picks for the 2023-2024 season. My name is Peter Boulay. Welcome aboard. We're going to be talking about Bills versus Bengals in a moment. But first, let me talk about our sponsors. The amazing 26 shirts. Del Reed has a crew that simply does great things. They make Buffalo and sports theme oriented shirts and they sell them and the proceeds go to sick kids and families. If you're not impressed by that, you need to see someone. Okay, professional. Um, I've met Dell and I am impressed beyond words with him every time I talk to him. Just the nicest guy. And uh, one of these days I'm going to get out there to Buffalo and uh, during the week and meet the rest of his crew. 26 Shirts can be found online on Twitter at 26 Shirts and on Facebook and 26Shirts.com. I highly recommend these are Christmas presents, okay? These are well worth the buy. And what are we wearing today? This is a brand new one. I just got it Thursday, last week. Originally, originally designed as a... Um, as a, um, <laughs> sorry, brain fart, as a sign that Celeste Klein had up saying, paint me like one of your buffaloes. Celeste, thank you. This is a wonderful shirt. I love this. And uh, I wear this with pride today. Before I go any further, guys, uh, let me just ask you a quick favor. Keep me in your thoughts tomorrow on, set on Friday, please. Uh, I'm having surgery and I'm a little anxious about it. I'm doing this video early because I don't know what kind of shape I'm going to be on Saturday or even Sunday. So let's talk about the Bengals. Uh, updates on personnel. We picked up uh, Lin Linval Joseph and Mr. Elam has gone on to IR. He has an ankle injury. We have to take that into consideration for his performance this year. Shutting him down is the right thing to do. And, of course, we brought in uh, Mr. Russell from Green Bay, who I think is going to do very well. He comes extremely highly regarded for my contacts in Green Bay. And I think he is going to do really well. And I expect that he will be filling in and taking the place of Dane Jackson very shortly. Um, a lot of people are upset that we didn't go for him. I can't pronounce his first name. I'm sorry. Um, I think he's too old. And I think he would want too much money. I, uh, I'm just not sure he would have been a fit for our, for our group. Yeah, he's a monster on the field, but, um, I just don't know. I think we did well getting Linval. He's younger. Um, he's in shape. He's ready to go. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Hopefully I can uh, stay awake on Sunday. <laughs> we'll find out. So what are we looking at? We're going back. Okay, I'm, I'm kicking at that horse, okay? We're going back to Pate. We're going back to Cincinnati. To the place where we almost lost our great Demar Hamlin. And uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough game, I think, for everyone. Emotions are going to run high. Um, but it's also a key game for us. We need to win this game to get our footing back in the division. Because it will be a, a, a conference win if we get it. And um, we come up and basically kick some ass. What are we looking at? Now, I'm only going off the injury reports for yesterday and today. Um, too early for me. <laughs> this might be a really too early projection. However, um, Josh didn't practice yesterday. I suspect they say it's his shoulder. And vet rest, maybe. Combination of both. Um I think he's ready to go. I think he's ready to earn this win. 
Um, even if I just sleep all day Sunday, I'm going to be up to watch this game. May not be yelling as loud. Movement isn't going to be fun, but still, it is our game. My wife and I are, well, I'm off for the next three weeks, but my wife will be home Monday, so we will be watching this game. What are we going to do? You know, we've seen the recurrence of the short passing game in terms of screens. Um, the two guys coming in are only going to make the defense better. And if we can pace ourselves, again, low energy, Josh, I, I think we can do this. Um, we know Burrow can be a bear. And I'm no fan of Mixon, believe me. I'm no fan of Joe Mixon. So I guess this is going to be more of a guess for me on a score than anything else. I think we're going to be looking at Bills win, of course. And I'm going to say 21, 31, 20, 31, 30. I think it's going to be really close. I think it's going to be a nail biter. And uh, But I think we can come out of this. I think we can come out of this in one piece. It'll set up, up good for the second half of the season. And, uh, you know, let's see how it goes. Again, my name is Peter Blay. Thank you very much for watching this way too early edition of Pete's Head of Our Buffalo Bills Picks for the 2023-2024 season. It is always a pleasure. And go Bills!